Thank you so much for joining in 200 plus odd beautiful people. My name is Sunil Kumar. I am also known as Power Trainer. Here are my some of the Twitter and LinkedIn handles. Feel free to reach me out. Today we are going to talk about AI prompts and please do remember I am on a stopwatch of David so I do not have much of the sweet time with me today. So I'll just try to uh, contain myself with a lot of other things and will be pinpoint towards how to leverage AI prompts within uh, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Copilots. So now, first of all, I'll we'll, we'll just go through what exactly AI prompt is. AI prompt is basically a combination of instruction and context. So do please do remember whenever we give an instruction to any of the AI to get some of the expected outcome, it won't be uh, in line with what we expect until we give a proper context to it. Now, keeping that in mind, Microsoft has already given us some of the by default out of the box created AI, AI prompts features, right? First of all, first of all is the classification of text. Second is sentiment. We will actually see how these work as well. So that's why I'm not going very described to describe these. Rewriting the content, summarizing the information, extracting a specific set of information, drafting a response, right? Very key point here is GPT prompt currently leverage 3.55. Turbo model, right, of Azure OpenAI services. It is, and one of the main thing is whenever we add any of the prompt, it is not available to any of the customer. It is not available to even OpenAI. Microsoft does not use our AI prompts to improve or do any changes within the product, right? Even these are not being used by OpenAI to improve anything on their end, right? Quickly, uh, one other thing, where it is all available right now, right? From the general availability concept. There are a couple of regions where it is available. Now, apart from those regions where it shows star, it is available, but for those regions, the data movement across regions has to be enabled. Right? Now, coming back to the actual, how it looks like from where we can actually access, right? I'll just quickly go to... Okay, so here we go, AI Hub. If you do not see this, click on more, you will see AI Hub. If you click on it, you will directly land into the all the AI builder activities, all the AI builder capabilities. We have AI models, AI prompts here, document automation. I click on AI prompts, hence I would be able to see all the prompts which are available. Now, here we have some of the AI prompts which I have extracted or I have added from the PowerCat uh, shared ones but there are some of the prompts which are created from the Microsoft, six of them. And then on top of it, we also can go ahead and create. I will quickly show you how one can go ahead and create. Other ones, how we have utilized in Power Apps, we will quickly see that also. So this is the one, check grammar, spelling, and correct it. This is the prompt which I have created custom. It's a very simple thing. Please check and correct the grammar and spelling of the input text AI prompt. This is my variable. I have already declared that variable, right? This is my input, if you see here. This is my input variable. For example, now, as soon as I create any of, we create any of the AI prompt, custom prompt, definitely we need to test that, right? For testing the prompt, just click here, test it. Based on that, uh, okay, one second. The, the, the UI has been changed a bit. Okay, so this is how we create a prompt. I will show you the actual usage as well. Now, we'll go back to the Power Apps, and here we have the application which I have created. We are not using PowerPoint, though we love the power, but we are not using PowerPoint here today. So let me have something. Like, let's say I love the new laptop. Just give give a quick, even we have the capability of drafting with Copilot, right? So I'll just quickly type on and click on AI sentiment. It says that the result is positive. The sentiment can be categorized in positive, negative, neutral. So that's where we are getting the positive as an output from here. Let's say I want to use the response uh, prompt, right? I will also show you how I have actually uh, 
added all these within this, right? Thank you. So it understands and give a proper response to the one, right? If I click on AI classify, it understands. So right now my classification categories are hardware, software, and neutral. So here it actually understands, okay, something related to hardware is here. So that's where it is able to give me a positive output, which is with respect to the input which we have uh, given. AI extract. So this particular AI model helps us in extracting different key value pairs from here. Now, I had to define like what exactly I need from here. For me, I have I want to extract all the names from the input text. For example, if I click on AI, so it will give me a JSON. Based on that JSON, I can always go ahead and use and fetch the respective required information. Now, I want to understand or I want to have a summarizing thing. Let's take something from here. Okay, I'll just add a little bit more details. Summarize in bullet points and in very sh in, in short. Right? If I click on summarize. It will try and summarize it in the bullet points. Right? It it adds a little bit of language enhancement also in this. Now I'll just do one another thing. The last one. I will change some of the text here to understand whether the AI would understand the the missed spellings or not. Right? If I click on this. It is running it. I hope I hope demo gods are with me today. Please. OK, something is taking time. Let's let's switch on. Uh, so similarly, how we have plugged in in the Power Apps, in the similar way we can plug it in the Power Automate also. I'll not go showing the similar example on here. I will actually show you how we have done it now. So let me quickly go back to my Power Apps in the edit mode. So this is my Power Apps screen. First of all, you have to be in the same environment where the uh, AI prompts has been added, or if it is talking about the, I'm talking about the custom ones. The other ones, the by default ones, out of the box ones are available throughout your different environment as well. So feel free to use that. In. But if any of the custom prompt is created in a specific environment, please go into that environment and when I click on Power Apps, so basically, first thing first, I need to go to data source and add all these. Add all these uh, AI models here, AI prompts models here. As soon as I add it, how do I search it? It's simple. Just search for AI. It will show you. As I've already added, it's not showing me these, but it will show you and feel free to add it from there. AI sentiment, what I'm doing here is this is my input label, right? text input app, and this is my uh, label I have created for uh, just giving a random names here. I know I'm not following the standards, naming standards, but let's go with it. Thank you so much for bearing with me. Now, if I click on AI sentiment, the first, this thing is all the fluff. You don't worry about that. This is the meet here. Update context. I am updating the var, a, a local variable which I have created. What I'm updating here is the AI sentiment. This is the model I'm uh, picking in here and then predict the text input app dot text. So whatever text I have it in this in this input, I just want to go ahead with that. And whatever the text I get as a result of this sentiment, I am passing back to the var result and the var result shows here. So this is how simple it is to plug any of the AI prompt within the Power Apps. Keep in mind, these are premium ones, right? So if these are premium ones, automatically the Power App becomes a premium app. For that, there is a whole different story of licensing, but definitely we need to take care of that. However, and it happens in the similar way for Power Automate also. Now, I am a bit lazy in just a minute. I have mistakenly unshared. Let me know once it is showing up again to you. It's back up. Yep. You're all good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this is the Power Automate which I have created. This is a Power Apps triggered Power Automate. And it's an instant one. So 
Power Apps Premium does take care of the, all the licenses required in this particular case. Right. So what I have done here is from the Power Apps, I'm getting a couple of variables, the button which is clicked and the input text. So this is what I'm getting from here. I'm initializing a random final variable as of now. Based on the button clicked, I am switching it up. I'm switching the case. And if it is AI sentiment, right? And then I am using the, the prompt here as, so this is the prompt which you can find, create text with the GPT using prompt. And there we have to go ahead and select all the prompts which are available and which one we want to use. So based on that prompt, I will give you, I'll give the input text. As it runs, I will set the output of the uh, chat GPT control, uh, chat GPT action to the my final variable. So in the same way, I am switching based on the button clicked and using the exact prompt, set the same variable, passing it back to the Power Automate. How do we? So this is how the Power Automate, Power Automate, we can leverage it. In the similar way, there, this is also one of the way how you can use it in the Copilot. You can always use the Copilot triggers here. But there are plugins also where you can directly use the uh, prompts as well. So there are two other ways how you can add it in the copilot use uh, using the copilot also. Okay, I think this is what I wanted to share today, and uh, I'm Sunil Kumar again, known as Power Trainer.